All right, we're back. How goes to, how goes things with Expedition One? Mesomir, you're still quite hurt. I think you'll need probably another two days of rest, which is not so bad. That'll get us to that little bit of mushrooms that we need, and then we can crack on and keep fighting. Stoya, got loads of food. That's good. Don't have much wood left, but I mean, we've th just thrown all that wood into construction of a barracks. Which we will just rush. Let's get some gathering going. I'm going to try to get that down to one or two. But I suspect I actually need to... Yeah, send at least one of my seven skill gatherers. To go and get, keep getting wood. I might have to make another little expedition here. I think that's probably the best thing to do. Also, why does Viroslava have two crafting? He's just got that naturally. He's not carrying anything that gives it to him. Okay, interesting that, that a gatherer has crafting naturally. Right, so who is going to be sent out? We're going to send out Vladimir, Viroslava, and Bogodara. Bogodara, Viroslava, Vladimir. Which wood do you need? Oh, crikey. Don't take any wood, because we'll just chop our own wood. 17 days worth of food is fine. God, we really went down to, like, <laughs> no wood at all. Can I get that down to one day? Really? Gonna bloody freeze to death. And it is five spores. Oh geez, that's gonna be really tough to just to defeat. Eight damage, thirteen hit points. How much shielding do you have? Eleven shielding. God, that's not a fight we can win with these three. I think we go fetch everybody, destroy these rats, and then... Oh, my word. Not at all what I wanted to be doing now. Yeah, leave the kids behind, for goodness sake. It's going to be tough. Uh, if we can try to socially defeat them, that might actually be a better way of doing it. Let's try to socialize with them. I mean, we've got some, we don't have wonderful fighters. We might be able to beat them in a social encounter. You stand firm, posturing and flexing your muscles as much as possible. You take out some twigs tied together like dolls and throw some rock salt, chanting a fake ritual. <laughs> be gone, fiends. We have the power of our elders on our side. We shall banish you to eternal torment. I'm just assuming that they're not going to be great at social. God, but we aren't great either. I think I've probably gotten this wrong here. Anyway, we'll put Yasnaya down. That's all going to come down to how many hit points they have. Okay. Oof, no, that's nasty. Damn it. So support ally increases offensive value. Okay, well, actually, hang on, because I've got... Yes. Okay. I can't get you in the fight, but I can support this ally to give them much more damage. If I go support ally here. 16, so you can almost one-shot one of those rats. Now the problem is surviving. First action, we don't really have... Support ally increases damage further. I think I do that. And then I probably get Zofia. Or Viroslava, and he can he can take two hits, and then I can support him to do more damage. I can shield him, but only for two. I really want to get her damage above 17, so she can one-shot that spore. If she kills that one, then this one gets to attack, then that one gets to attack. So she's going to take 12 points of damage, which she can handle, then she kills that one. Then this one attacks again, which takes her out. Unless I shield her. How much would she have? She would have... You'd need to survive 18 hit points, and I can only shield for two. 
I think then that means that I'm best off getting Viroslava in and supporting him to try to get him above 12 or 17 at most. Oh god damn it, 12 damage, ouchie, so that, that means he's not going to survive that. Ah, oh, damn it. And support Zofia so she can do 6 damage. Just have to hope that's going to be enough. Don't think it is, but at least kill that one. Mm. <laughs> Down he goes. Damn it. And she's got exactly 12, so she's gonna go down. Oh no, she survived. But that's odd, that the fact that they attacked towards the left. I thought they would've taken on Zofia. This is horrible. We're gonna lose this. What? I, I played him in the... Oh, there he is. For a second, I thought that card didn't actually work. So we need to do 12 hit points of damage here. We have a support ally. Three, exactly what we have. I could use get closer here, so that even though you don't take part in the first combat turn, you can take part in the second. Shit. I'm not accounting for the tactics that they're putting out. That's the mistake I'm making here. It's going to be close. It's probably another loss. I love these sound effects. It's so cheesy. Okay, we've got eight, how many hit points on that one? So we need to support him, support her by one more. Or we let that sport take her down. Or Bogodora down, and then I'll just let Zirad get closer. Uh, okay, let's just, let's just support her instead. Because that tactic's already been used. So I think what's going to happen is we'll mm -hmm. talk that one down and then go mm. straight to the... Yep, there you go. We won! We managed to talk the, the animals out of fighting us. Your opponent stands before you, uneasy, then begins to pace and look skittishly over their shoulders. As you better out the final words of your fake ritual, they decide to make a run for it. If they had anything on them, there's a good chance they dropped it as they fled. So that's awesome. We managed to defeat them without having to resort to violence. As a result, we get much less in the way of loot. We still get the XP and the tech. And really the main thing is that we were able to keep our non-combatants safe. That's really cool. I love that about this game. But just because we don't have great fighters here doesn't necessarily mean that we're completely boned. How cool is that, huh? Okay, so I think it's just these two that are going to go back. Three gathering, seven gathering, four gathering, eight gathering. Uh, I think I wanted to leave Zofia in the village gathering vines. God, there's no wood. Now that I sent the correct group back. I did not. You're the lads who need to go back to the village. We'll wait one more turn for Expedition Hello, 1 to heal up. Passes by your village, stopping only for a drink and a chat if you're willing. Sure, have a drink with him. You share a drink and some stories. As thanks, the dwarf tells you of an old mine he knows. He marks the location on your map. He marks right. a route for a gold mine. Gold mine, nice. So basically that just means if we go there we have to do some sort of challenge and then that'll be a gold resource on the map. I'm actually tempted to maybe research a little bit earlier than I normally would in this playthrough. 
Okay, get wood for us, please. Hope there's still that coal left in the village. There's not. We're going to freeze to death. That's a serious issue. As soon as we get wood from... Oh, Expedition 2. Need to get busy with it. We've got loads of food. Yeah, let's get this barracks done first. Thirteen out of thirteen. Okay, good. All hit points fully healed up. Let's get cracking. Best way to fight is fight. Nine militia spiders and a queen spider. Let's begin combat. That's a lot of baddies. I would have loved to have had my blunt weapon here. Oh geez, I probably sh oh God, I shouldn't have done this. This is gonna go badly for us. I've badly overestimated our strength here. Well, these two will be able to attack before the Spider Queen unless they get countered with tactics. Because she's confused, so in combat round one, they will go before her. So I can confuse shield or first ally. I reckon we just get in there. Okay, I'm actually going to wait here with Malavid. I need there to be an enemy on the on the end, so as he jumps in, he can do half his damage. Like that. There's still an awful lot of <laughs> critters in the field. They're, good. They're not doing any... What are you doing? Oh, he's confusing our guys. Oh, no! This is really bad. Okay, didn't get through the armor. Excellent. Almost killed the Spider Queen. Probably she's going to bite us and bite him and kill him on the first bite. Well, these th all three, the three will attack before Snowbird gets to move. Oh, he survived by one hit point. It's going to be very close. Okay, yeah, that, 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 that's clutch. The fact that Mesomir managed to kill that Spider Queen and then still do extra damage. Won us this battle. We've still got one warrior who's badly wounded though, and might actually die as a result. If we have a first action three, we don't. Uh, we can shield him for 13, no less. Uh, Svatava, get in there. Or. Get closer. Kill. Nice, great work. Ah, oh, no, Snowbit, I'm worried about him. Let's camp it up immediately. Hope he survives. So, we've got one child here and three in the other expedition. I think the second that barracks is done, when the kids start growing up, we will make them warriors. We need more warriors, desperately. I'm just going to have Vladimir run some wood back to the village. I think it's only four days worth. Um, should I make Vladimir just gather food? Why not? We need veggies anyway. We've got 50 of them. We've got seven vines. I think we need four vines per basket, and we're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about 10 at least. So I think we need about 40 vines before we start gathering the uh, cane. Kind of just as well because we're not making any progress on on our research. This is going to help though. Actually, no, it's not because it's not going to give us any research points. 
Once that's done, we'll just craft whatever we can to get us some research points. Snavit's wounded. We'll give him one more day to rest and then we'll move. I'm pretty sure he heals for the amount of hit points as the medic skill of the medic. He yeah, looks like it. And then he will heal up one point per day if you're just on the road. Essentially, am I, do I then think I'm going to fight in the next five days here? No, I don't. And if I have to, I can just try to keep him safe out of combat. What's that? Dark wood? More cane? More clay? I can't wait to get my hands on all this good clay. I'm going to build such good structures out of it. Nice. Darkwood crossbow. Excellent. Ooh, extra will. You may as well have that. And extra perception. Does any one of the fighters have perception? They do not. Tough times. We're out of wood, but happily the barracks is finished, so that frees up our crafters. We just don't have resources to craft anything with. Can't construct any of that. Uh, we don't have any wood, so that doesn't help. Only got two bits of wood. Okay, so I think we'll send the two crafters out to go help get, uh, gather wood. Just until there's enough for them to actually build anything, that is. Or, if nothing else, they can just run wood back and forth. Oh, we're sitting on 22 wood here. Okay, that wasn't the perfect way to do it, though. They can run back on the next day with more wood. <coughs> oh, excuse me. All right, so that's going to let my crafters get busy with some food, which will achieve that first little uh, tutorial ambition, and then that, that should give us some crafting items, which we can hopefully immediately turn into crafting tools or gathering tools. Let's see what we can do. Veggies plus meat plus wood and cook veggies plus fruit plus wood just keeping an eye on how much wood we're using for each of these let's go 10 each it should be decent up to 13 vine yes yeah, so we're on like a little island here pretty cool Take a look at the world. Big landmass here. Water all around. Where should I be exploring? I think I should be exploring... Well, let's just make sure that that's also where the land bridge is and then we should go up here. That's obviously where you can find something to do. Yes, wonderful. You Excellent. Your first batch of prepared food. No longer are you a mere scavenger. Now you can cook. Crafted foods are more efficient than the raw stuff. Yep. Okay, some valuable research, and does that give us anything that we can turn into anything crafting-wise? Yes, craft tools. Steel plus wood plus wood equals only plus two craft, but it does give some... Hmm. You know what? I think finish making the, the food first, then we can do crafting tools. Or actually, don't even bother. It's more important to do the crafting tools. Steel wood wood they're just making tools for themselves here that gets us up to the to give us another 14 research points 
And we're actually quite close. Why is it showing? Oh, we're down to only three hits of food. Well, in that case, then, let's just head straight back to the village. Where we can grab some food and then head west. I'm pretty confident that I don't have to worry about what's here. Well done. You nice. Malachite and it. Moonstone, I think it's called. The night's peace is disturbed by the sudden wailing of oh, a God damn it. decaying corpse sits atop the town's tallest building, croaking names in despair. A child from your village recognizes the creature and cries, Mama, for the rest of the eerie night, until its little spirit leaves its body in the morning. Oh, you remember man. that the child's mother went missing last year and never returned. When the creature returns the next night, fighters attempt to shoot down the corpse, but it evades the shots with inhuman speed, and then it runs away. Your wise ones warn you that this fiend may keep So we're going to use intellect or try to follow the creature with hunting. Uh, this is the skills of those who are in the village. We've got two crafters, so are they more likely to have intellect or hunting? Hunting's based on stealth. Uh, do they have any intellect? My medicine man who is most likely to have intellect, he, intellect. I think hunting's probably our best bet. Run after the creature and try to follow it Pursue the creature. Skills used are offense, defense, gathering skill. Oh, damn. It's not going to go very well. Yeah, look at this. We got no damage. The only one with any damage here is Zafia. Yep, this is a, not going to be... <laughs> this is a fail. Well, in the meantime, I suppose you can counter offense at least. I should have done the hunting challenge. I didn't realize her, her stealth was that high. Stealth is what determines uh, that hunting ability. Okay, they will do piercing damage. Oh, this is hunting. I should, should have done the intellect or... Oh, well, I think what I'm trying to say is that that Zofia, or not Zofia, the, the crafter lady who we had there, if she was on this side, we would have been able to do some good damage, but other than no, this is over, we've lost. Damn it! So we've lost a child, one of our precious children, stolen away. And the medicine man was actually here. But look, no, hang on, look, she only counters offense and... Oh, okay, this is... We can... We can fight. We don't have any... We have zero points. Yeah, forfeited the challenge. You Fail. Failed track down the fiend, and so it escapes into the night without... That doubly sucks, because if you succeed in that, that little mini game there, then you get a quest item where you can go to get the child back. Oh, man. Game is hard. What's in this hive? Do I think I can defeat the hive? I think so. Everyone's fully healed. Has decent weapons. Not much in the way of armor, but you know. Fear is not an easy place to grow up. Becoming an gatherer, is thank an you. Important right. Oh right, I should have known it was the expedition. I should have taken should have taken warrior there. Okay, so we've got another another gatherer. What's her gathering skill? Four. How many kids do we have left? Just two. Okay, so the next one needs to be a warrior, and then the one after that will be another gatherer. Let's see about a weapon for you, Pekoslava, if we can. Maybe... Eight damage? It's not great. If you can carry it, maybe carry blunt weapon. Eight damage. That's the same. You may as well use the pike then. Eight range damage. Interesting. Compared to if I give it to him. Also eight range damage. Okay, never mind. I was just thinking that because Malovid has higher melee damage, I'm more likely to want him to use his melee weapon. She does less melee damage, so I'd much rather have her use the ranged weapon. On the plus side, I think that means we can take this beehive relatively easily. 
Yep, no one even gets that badly hurt. Two-handed axe, which I don't really need that much. That helps us a little bit. In terms of research. A pigeon flies to your village with a note attached. It reads, Dear residents of the lovely settlement, If you will, please visit my humble abode placed not so far from your lovely home. It is very nice. I am a blacksmith <laughs> of dwarven tradition, and I have an offering for you kind people. Yes, there is a small map drawn in strange purple glowing ink. Okay, let's go check it out. I've had one similar quest like this before, and he, he asks you to convince a demon he's in love with uh, to go out with him. Best way to slay a demon. Yep, fine. Forward, go ahead. And he's right near us. We'll see what he wants. Now you're not going to have enough. Oh, you can. You're a strong lady. She can carry all of this. Impressive. Now we're out of wood. Just got to deposit some of the wood back here in the village. Uh, expedition 2 I, need, I think that 3 wood is fine half the berries don't need that many berries we're going to keep gathering more okay, we're starting to get a little, a little stockpile of crafting materials constant lack of wood is an issue I can turn that into a weapon uh, I can't really build anything else You see fresh wolf tracks. It looks like a large pack is somewhere. Three skull ahead. wolf fight. Too dangerous for the moment. Excellent. There's our second uh, bit of research. I think I'm going to go for the cane. And now let, 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 let's now make a real push to get them. Get these gathering tools out. Need to leave gear with you guys for one more warrior and we'll take one of the kids our gatherer Pikoslava can stay in the village and help gather that cane and this child will use let's see that that shield and that weapon is there any armor we can give him there probably is not much for him to wear but hang on I've already got three warriors so I need that as well for my warriors Ooh. Yes, I think I need these ranged items to be here. This is our main fighting group. They need to have all the best weapons that they can. Right, food wise, give us a bit of everything just for the for the multiple food bonuses. Twenty-three days of food. How are we doing for wood? Give us as much wood as we have food. Right. Okay. Good. Decent little expedition now. Let's go see what the smithy wants us to do for him. Hidden away in a quiet alcove, you discover a single house amongst ruins of some old town. There is smoke coming from the chimney and the sound of hammering inside. This is clearly a smithy. You notice an unusually large pile of rocks sitting by the house. Approach the house. Approach, the hammering stops and a dwarf walks out to greet you. That's far enough, strangers. You do not want to anger Chael. She gets very jumpy, that one. The pile of rocks opens its eyes and stares at you. It's definitely a rock troll. Whoa. We're just passing by. We got your invite. Our village is not far from here, but we've never seen you. Hey, your village. Well, truth be told, I move around me, and I don't like to trust any stranger coming to see me. Unless I want you to, you will not find your way here, hence the invite. And this brings me to why you did find me. I have a wee problem, and if you help, I will give you a full set of armor with some good weapons and all. You see, I've got me a kind of, well, a female problem. 
A what now? Uh, well, it's kind of embarrassing. <coughs> you know, us fallen dwarves, that is, the ones who stayed behind when the darkness came. We tend to be solitary types, at least when it comes to females. After all, no dwarven woman chose this sad fate, at least not one I know of. In any case, the story cut short. There's a cute demon girl, the nice type, mind you, living nearby, and, well, I tried impressing her with my smithing, but she doesn't like weapons. I tried sweet talking, but turns out it ain't my best feature. So if you go and convince her to go out with me, I will give you the prize. Okay, point me in her direction. This is a serious matter, mind you. She can get a bit nasty if you're not careful, and I've been trying for decades now. Anyway, I don't know how much you do know of them water demons, but just try not to dance with her. And probably avoid going for a swim. And, well, just be careful. She's a sneaky one. You want to date a demon? They hold your horses, human. What's with the racism, eh? Yeah. Just you wait till you see her. Then tell me dating demons is off the menu. You know us dwarves. We have good heads for that enchantment shit. So I think... <laughs> enchantment shit. Or anything. And, you know, I think we'll get along just fine. Okay. Off I go, then. Excellent. Here's a map of the local area. I marked roughly the spots where she hangs out, but I think she may be on the, the sisters. sisters. So just yeah, watch out. Ah, uh, fine. Let's go convince a demon to date an old dwarf. XP. Good. We've got loads of this cane that we can we can get. Keep gathering wood, you guys. Wood and brute. Okay, so we've got eight there and a four there. I'll tell you what, let's weight it this way because we've already got some vine. And then in two days time, when we get plus six cane, we can start building our first one. And as they get built, we'll give them back onto them, which will have an exponential effect on the gathering. Ooh, we can already make gathering tools. Nice. Plus three gathering. Excellent. If I use that, still plus three. It just weighs a touch less, and we get a little bit less. Good. This is really going to start to accelerate our uh, our technology now. And not a moment too soon. goodness for that what a relief bam you two work together and then we'll give the first one to you keep the cane flowing and then there good 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 so we're looking for uh, the smithy quest i mean hell we're actually heading that way anyway Let's hit there and then there but we'll stop and clear out that spider's nest on the way now we're talking we've got our expedition two gathering some essential supplies the village it's doing work crafting items and you'll see as we start crafting things we're going to start accelerating with our research really quite quickly Ooh, a two-handed sword seven and five damage not bad Two armor, two armor. Don't suppose he has enough. He does actually have a fair amount of strength. Surprising. Okay, when that next child grows up, we've got a sword and shield waiting for him. And you'll see, when this kid grows up, he's going to be a better fighter than the ones we have already. Just because of that uh, improved skill points he gets from the barracks. So gathering-wise, or crafting-wise, what's next on the menu? I kind of think clay. But I don't actually even have anyone who can gather it. I'll tell you what, the next child that grows up, we can make a gatherer who's just going to sit in that clay. I want the clay because as soon as I have enough to make a good watchtower, it'll give us an, a vision radius of like that. 
which is especially useful because we're going to have external gathering parties who are defenseless, so they're going to need to see danger as it approaches. You guys craft another set of gathering tools? You can. Okay, what do we have here? Just the hulking rat and some skeletons, not a problem. Don't need that. Decent bit of supplies. And of course the XP and the research points help as well. Only three days of wood left, but then again Expedition 2 has over two weeks. That's actually a fairly nasty group. I've got to get Expedition 1 to go take that out. As it happens, Expedition 2 needs to head back to the village to go drop off their wood in any case. Expedition 2, uh, can you gather some wood? Oh, I can get some coal. Coal and wood. Ah, out of movement, that's why you can't camp. You come across the remains of a very old burial site. There are some large tombstones and crumbled crypts. Or the granite. closer to begin collecting the granite. But one of the fallen tombstones... Striga, was... run away! Yeah, we, they certainly could not have taken that on. No way. But why is coal so difficult to harvest if it just burns at the same rate as wood? I feel like I must be wrong about that. Now we're looking better. Plus 100, so okay, that takes three days per harvesting cycle. Nice thing is, my crafters are obviously crafting. There's even spare gathering baskets for them. But these ones that are being made now are going to be given to Expedition 2. what is that a bear two wolves and four others we've only got three warriors <laughs> it's gonna be super super difficult this fight but we've got good range damage let's back ourselves we got unlucky we, we desperately need mesomir to be on the left hand side all the time uh let's see here I'm going to put Svatava first. She's got 19 damage. I know the bears typically have 24 damage. So I can either support her damage with... Hmm. No, but here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use him to go first on the next turn. Snowbird goes next. Then we'll put Mesomir forward and then use first action on him. So as long as he gets to attack before the bear, we should be able to kill the bear. Should. Yeah, he should attack before the bear. And in fact, so will Svatava. So between him and Svatava, they're going to kill the bear. I hope. If all goes well. Ow. Snowbird tanking those wolf shots like an absolute beast. That's unlucky. Actually, Svatava should have gone first. Owie.
Well, she tempted to research clubs and warhammers and have everybody who's using a shield to use shields and clubs because the overspill damage is just so useful. This one doesn't do, doesn't do any damage, doesn't matter. We'll just get Snowbird in and we'll shield him up. He's got enough armor anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at least, in the least bit. So that support ally has been increased by that ranged weapon we have. Oh, ouch. He wasn't hurt that bad. That's surprising. I didn't think he was heavily wounded. Let's gather for a day or two. Please don't die. Have I got another one of these ready? No, I don't. Sky's darker, the air gets cold, and your village is visited by the souls of the dead. They do not attack. They simply wander the fields and houses they once lived in. Wailing in sadness, for their spirits cannot know rest. Offer up a prayer to Velez, the master of the afterlife. Velez himself steps up from the midst of the souls and speaks. I cannot help these souls, not until the balance is restored to Thea. But perhaps together we can take steps to help out. The fools who destroyed it all still dwell in this world. Go, seek them out, seek the knowledge they wield, discover the past to ensure the future. With his last words, Velez changes into one of the souls once more, and together they move on. You feel you know where to seek this knowledge your god spoke of. Okay, we'll go check it out at some point. It's all good, it's more XP, it's more research stuff. Honestly, I think I'm just going to hang here until this expedition has those baskets or... Is it worth hanging? I, I would need four baskets for them all to be able to gather like half okay. And how long is that going to take to produce? Two of them takes three days, so it would take six days to produce all the baskets we need. Pekoslava's got one. Ah, Zofia. Her gathering's gonna be pretty damn good. Eleven gathering. Hell yeah. In that case, let's see if I can rejig this around so that it's all at one per day. That's about as close as we're gonna get. But it should be the other way around because I need a bit more cane now than I need. Uh, we've got six cane and fifteen twine. Plus, that'll take three days, plus one ten, it'll take two days. Okay. What else can we craft? Leather plus amber plus string. Not yet. Finish doing these gathering tools first. Nice. I think I should go for clay. Or should I start crafting weapons? I'll tell you what, let's take a look at what we're carrying. I mean, I'm, weapons doesn't really help because I don't have anything to turn into weapons. I could take jewelry because I've got some gold, but... Moonstones. No, I think it's clay. We've got to go for clay. Or I could go for a smithy just to help with all of the, uh, the subsequent pr production, but... Then I don't actually have much in the way of resources. Let's go for clay. I want to go after clay. The sooner I can start reaping in all that clay, the sooner I can get my buildings built. There's loads of it available. I'll tell you what, you lads can grab those gathering baskets on your way back. No time to waste. Get out there. Darkwood sword? I'll hang on to that. Hopefully another supply store. 
You enter what you explore the Twelve ravenous crows, you wow. Your enemy. Oof, you Mesomir got hurt. And find an old stock room. A plain Still shirt. Wow, look resources. at the gold. Nice. Once again, craft some more. Or gather some more, excuse me. Mesomir, you can take the day off. You don't need to go craft. You are wounded, my friend. I gotta stop getting my lads wounded. Only one left. Okay, can we make another one? Not quite. Can make another one in. Well, I've got eleven. I've got two. Uh, I'm, I'm missing a, a binding agent or wood, I think. But that just happens that they are carrying wood. Let's go after some after some clay. Straight away we go after the clay. And then actually Sophia already is an amazing crafter, so we can take that away. Equipment, Expedition 2, Gathering Tools. You guys are strong. I'm very surprised they can wear armor, sword, and shield, and gathering tools. Good work. How much clay are we going to need to get the tower built, which is the first thing I want? Watchtower. 50 is the answer. So probably it'll take us 10 days or 9 days to get hold of that. Just got to make sure everyone is working. Ah, whoopsie. Excellent. Okay, good episode. Let's take a little break. Get busy with the clay. Start building. It's going to be good. Good progress. I feel good.